Hello, Liz here. Uh, this is Friday, June the 19th, and we're going to be turning this Dollar Tree sign into uh, some pretty home decor to hang on your wall. Now, this does have a jute hanger on it. I just taped it on the back so it wouldn't get in the way of my paint. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do, this has um, sparkly glitter on here and so we're going to take our little sander this is 150 grit but you can use 120 150 whatever so i'm just going to sand it off We're going to paint this with uh, some folk art acrylic vanilla cream, and this is just some old paint that I had laying around. So we'll probably use a couple of paint, a couple of coats on it. Yeah, definitely. See how that's showing through. So we'll want to use at least two coats. And I have my um, my dryer over here, my heat gun, and I'm going to use that on here. And I'm going to paint like the whole front and the side pieces and the, the top piece, which looks like a piece of wood there. So we're going to paint that too. Just giving this a good coat of paint. And like I said, we'll probably do two coats, at least maybe three on it. Just depends. And then we're going to get the sides, the edges, I should say, not really sides. I did get uh, this at the Dollar Tree pretty recently. I got a couple of them. I thought we could use them. And, and these little signs that they have are perfect to use to put your stencils on um, when you make stuff. I mean, they're just a dollar. You can't really go wrong with it. And now I want to do the top. do this part in here, up underneath here. And then I want to do the very, the top of that board there. Okay, now I'm going to dry it. So I got this heat gun at, um, Harbor Freights and it has two settings on it and I usually use the lower setting. It does get really hot. And you want to go over the whole board. You don't want to stay in one place too long. Okay, that looks 
like it's dry. We need to get some more paint here. And like I said, this is the color is vanilla cream. I think it looks really pretty. So we're just putting our second coat of paint on. Tracy. So we're just giving our uh, dollar, our, our um, plaque from the Dollar Tree two coats of acrylic paint so far. We're working on the second coat. We'll probably have to give it three. I think the sides and the bottom and all, uh, the edges, we only need to do one coat. Okay, we're ready to dry this. So you can still see the words a little bit through the paint, so we're just going to paint the plaque itself three times. pretty dry. So one more coat. And that should do it. We're replacing our fence our privacy fence, so the guys have been working on it all week. We're hoping they'll get it done this weekend. Now I'm just going over this because I, uh, I hit it with my brush, so. But we're actually gonna cover that up anyway. I think that'll about do it. Let's try it. And this is going to be so cute. I saw another crafter do it on, um, on their crafting page. And they like to share all their crafts with everybody. So I thought this one would be really cute. Of course, mine's not exactly like theirs. That's another thing you all do too when you do yours, you know, you're going to make it your own. You're going to do it in your own colors. You're going to use uh, the things that you like on it. Okay, it seems like that's dry. So, now I have these wooden discs. 
you know, I had these for quite a while, so I'm not sure where I got them, but I know they do have them in Hobby Lobby. So I just painted them with this, the Folk Art Blue Ribbon. And again, this is just some paint that I had. And then, um, as you can see, I sanded down the edges. So I need to do this one here. I just think it gives it that um, a little worn look. So that it's not looking quite so newly painted. So this is what we have. Hey Jim. And uh, we are going to stencil on this. And I'm going to put the word always. So this is what I found here this always. Now I did put a link to uh, this stencil. Uh, you can go to lizyonke.magnoliadesignco.com for these stencils and I did put a link for this particular stencil on there and you get these two in a package. So we're just going to use the word always and I'm just going to use one letter at a time. didn't get my fuzzer. Oh well, I've used this several times so maybe it'll be okay. And then I have this um, black chalk paste. I just got this order in from uh, Magnolia Design yesterday. So I want to use that. And I have my squeegee here. So I'm just going to do the word always, but I'm only going to do one letter at a time, and hopefully I'll get it in a good spot. Okay, so I just used the A. Fingers crossed. Huh. It's not bad. Now I'm going to do the L. So I'm just using the corner, a little bitty corner of my squeegee. And I'm just making sure that I'm only getting on the letter that I want. Here's my L. Now I'm going to take a little blue paint later and I'll uh, blue in this part right here after it dries. So anytime you make a mistake, you can usually fix it. mistake with this one because I just went over the L a little bit. Okay, so I'll put a little bit of blue uh, paint on that one too. And then the A. This Y is going to be a little difficult because it's right up beside the, the word heart, the H in heart, down below it. So, I don't know how that's going to go. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, we did pretty good. 
and then the S. that one too. So I'm just going to put this in um, my little pot of water here upside down so it won't get um, it won't get the paste won't get stuck in the uh, creases not the creases but the, the stenciling part of it. And then I'm going to take my small brush and I'm going to clean up these parts that I messed up. So I just have a little paint here in the lid and see I just went over that. So it's just that easy. Uh oh this one smeared a little bit. Oh okay. I need to wait for that one to dry. So you have this one like that, so I'm just going to put a little paint on it. And now Sorry about that. I get these calls all the time for things that don't apply to me. Okay, I'm going to take my heat gun on this one here. If I can get this one. Okay, there we go. So there we have it. Okay. So we're just going to set these aside for a little bit. And then we're going to glue. We have a seam to a pair of blue jean pants. And we're just going to glue this to the side here, to the top, starting at the side. I knew what I wanted to say, it just didn't come out right. Okay, so I'm just going to hold that there for a few seconds. Okay, so I'm just going to do this end here, and then I'm going to cut off the extra. Okay, and now I can untake this from the back. So this is what we have so far. a little banner at the top of this. So I just have this cotton thread that I've added these wooden, blue wooden beads to. And I have five beads. I have seven of the um, letters. I mean six of the letters. Sorry about that. So I need enough room for a letter on each side and then the letters in the middle. Okay, so we'll have an A here. Let's take that in a little bit. And then our L. Okay, 
So I'm just going to glue them onto the, uh, the little rope. I'm just gluing them in between the beads. exactly what I wanted to happen. I guess I should have glued them on to my um, plastic thing there. But we can cover that up. So I'm just going to hang it like this. And I'm just going to glue this string on the back. So I just put um, some glue on the back and then just put the string in it. Do the same thing to the other side. And I want it to hang over the part that I messed up. Oh geez. Looks like I'm going to have to do some more painting. So let's put this piece on here. Well, you never know what's going to happen on the live. I pictured how it was going to go in my head. Okay. So, I'm just going to get some more paint here. Get my brush out. So remember when you go to do yours, do your string, you know, place your items where you think they should be, and then do your string on the, uh, the board you have underneath instead of your project. dry. So see most of it's covered up anyway. So this is what we have so far. I thought that was cute. I have a little banner here. A banner on a banner. And then I'm just going to trim up my um, cord in the back. And this is just some cord that was on a uh, that came with another project. I think it was one of those little bird houses from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we have this stencil from Magnolia Design. It says hashtag blessed, but I'm not going to use the hashtag, so I'm going to put it right here. So I'm just going to use the blessed with the heart under my um, banner there, so always blessed. And uh, there is a link for this stencil in the, uh, you know what, I could fuzz this on my shirt, in the description. I'm going to do this a couple times because these stencils are sticky. They're pretty sticky, so you need to fuzz them. And also, uh, they're, they're reusable, but you want to wash them right away. So normally what you would do, as soon as you're done, you would take them to your kitchen sink and you would spray them down. 
and then you can um, you can use the sponge, which mine's all tore up, but this is only a piece of it, to uh, wipe it down more. Okay, I have this bubble over here. Uh, it's a piece of glue. Okay. Alright, so I'm just pressing this down to get all the bubbles out. And again, I'm not going to use the hashtag. And I'm using the black chalk paste, which there's a link for that in the description. And then I'm just going over the blessed. And uh, these two stencils plus the chalk paste are available right now. Uh, I think they do sell out quickly. I had ordered some uh, blue chalk paste and didn't get it, but I see now that it's uh, back. But uh, I think it's going to be a little while before I place another order since I just got this one yesterday. Okay, so I'm just... Uh, getting the excess off back in the pot and this is what your top paste should look like now if it's uh, too thick or lumpy you can um, put a couple sprays of distilled water in it and mix it up and that'll take care of it so hopefully this turned out okay let's see and when you take them off you can initially start with the corner but you don't want to continue Wait, what is, yeah, you don't want to continue with the corner because you can stretch out your stencil. So you want to get it more in the center of a side or a top or a bottom. Okay, this thing is really sticking. Okay, here we go, here we go. Guess I should have fuzzed it more. And I have used this a few times, but isn't that looking pretty? Okay, so I'm just going to put this in my water until I can get to it. Now, um, when I clean them off, you want to dry them with the sticky side up, and then when they're dried, you want to put them back on the shiny side of your backing. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and I thought it would be really nice to have a bow or something right here. So, I have these pieces of material that I cut and then did the, uh, the little V right here on the ends, and they're about four inch, four and a half inches. And then I have this piece of ribbon that I'm going to use to put it together. So, we're just going to take these and we're going to cross them. So one here. And I do want this color here to be uh, on the top. So I'm going to lay two of these aside. So again, I'm just crisscrossing the different types. Like this, just make it look like an X. And I have several different uh, materials here, all in the blue family. So some crafters call this the messy bow, but you can have skinny pieces, fat pieces, you know, you just want different sizes, you don't want them all the same. Again, I'm just crisscrossing. and. Um, some people use those um, those ties to uh, tie it together, those zip ties. 
you can use uh, wire you could use floral wire you could use um, pipe cleaners just whatever you have Okay, we're almost done here. Put my last two on, my darker blue, and then I'm just going to put this underneath it here, and then I'm going to tie it as tight as I can. And I'm just going to put a knot in it. turn out the way I wanted it to but maybe we just need to fluff it a little bit so I'm just taking the ends and kind of pulling them apart maybe maybe if we shake it a little bit This really wasn't the way I was picturing it in my head. So maybe I should have used um, ribbons and stuff. I don't know. Maybe instead of a ribbon in the middle, I should have used um, a wire. Hmm. Yeah, it's just not exactly the way I pictured it. I think what I'll do is um, I'll try this again offline and then I'll post a picture of it and then you all can let me know what you think. So uh, the links are there for this, the stencils for this and the stencil for this and for the uh, chalk paste and like I said I'll make a different bow for this. So uh, until tomorrow. Uh, well, I'll think of another craft for you guys. I got a couple of them in mind. One of them is using um, those wooden tops to those uh, wood wick candles. I have four of them because when I ordered them last year, several of them broke. So um, that's one craft I have in mind. Another one uh, involves a clipboard. So, uh, I hope to see you here tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday, so I'll be on at noon, Central Time. Until then, bye.